uh, YouTube. We're going to play another League of Ironworks tonight. Starting to get a hang of this deck. I do like it a lot. So hopefully I can get in the swing of things. Have this ready to play in the future. Just know what I've got going on. I like this deck a lot. I think it's it's tough to play. I think it's very good. I think I might want to get rid of like one of these Galvanic Blasts for another like defense grid slash Karn. Or maybe a bridge from below or something like that. I'll give that a try. All right, I would like to play first. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Turn three Ironworks with an Echo Wellspring. I'm going to run my Mox all blow out, even though I'm not going to use the mana. I tend to get a little nervous when it comes to, like, my opponent thought seizing in game one at least. Sometimes I don't run it out in game two because they're more likely to have artifact disruption. And it's not too bad to have... The opal. Alright, so we're playing against a Death Shadow deck. This is a really tough matchup. With a hollow one. Okay. So we might be able to power through even a really fast iron or hollow one draw because we have mana. Like we're not gonna be um, we're not going to be bottlenecked. Yeah, that's a nice draw. So if I play the Scrab Trawler this turn, next turn to cast the first thing, we sack the Dark Steel Citadel, then sack this, yeah. He's got to bolt this this turn, or he likely dies when we untap. And we're really good to go next turn. Like, we're going to be able to sack this Dark Steel Citadel, sack this, sack that, and have this for insurance. You always want to sack the lower, lower cost at artifacts first. The little hierarchy. That's odd. Just trying to do some innovation, I guess. All right, so we already. So basically, we just need a couple mirror retrievers, and we're doing okay here. So let's sack this, sack this. This returns Mox Opal. We hit a land, unfortunately. So we're still going to play this Mox. Going to get green. We're just going to sack this and use this mode to draw a card. So we're going to hold on to our twos. All right, I know the Scrap Trawler is pretty big. It's going to get both of these back. Always yield. Then we hit. So let's, we're not going to sack the Terrell. We do have to. We can actually not sack the Icker Wellspring yet. Just like to like work from the bottom up pretty much. Scrap Trawler gets back Mox Opal. Gets back Mox Opal. Yield to this. Alright, so we drew another Pyrite Spell Bomb. Again, we're gonna just keep starting low. I think it's pretty it's pretty unlikely we lose from this spot. Because we're drawing so many cards a turn and we can just restart with the uh, scrap trawlers if we have to. And we just drew three cards there, which is the nut. 
You don't even really have to loop this mox opal. If we, if we get low on time, we'll ignore the mox opal, but it's technically right to do. Just an auto target. Okay, nice. So we basically just need we need a mirror retriever to win the game from here. Once we've got the mirror retriever, we're in good shape. I don't even have to loop this any longer. I'm just kind of doing it more as a formality. Mox opal, mox opal, it's rare. And I'm not even gonna loop the, the mox opal at this point. We just don't need to. I hit another Ancient Stirrings. All right, we hit a KCI. We don't need another KCI, though. We just need a Mirror Retriever at this point. Let's get this. Sack this. All right. So let's see if my opponent is a nice guy. All right, they see it and they scoop. Much appreciated. Thank you, opponent. Playing against, it, against this deck, we just want these. Um, the engineered explosives probably are not that great because they don't have, like, all their permanents are large. So I'll probably leave one in because there might be a corner case where we want to, like, where we want to look for it. And then we probably can just cut our sphere. Sphere is just the worst one overall. They kind of have a problem with Psy, but I'm not really sure the game is about Psy. Like, if we determine, like, maybe we just play Psy because they can't kill it, more than likely. Like, maybe these cards here and cut, like, one Icker Wellspring. Maybe these are worse than the size. Especially if we think they're bringing in Leyline of the Void. Let's just try this. Just give this a whirl and see how this works. Sounds pretty good. A little cold to a ley line. But we have two redraws. The opponent does have a ley line, and they don't have one. So that's another good news. If we hit a, another one mana spell, we can play it. I actually don't remember if I saw black mana from them. Okay, so they're more of a Vengevine build. And we're going to cast this because we can claim a hollow one or something like that. Should be okay. If this hits this, I'm probably going to play the Mind Stone next turn. So, so I'm playing two Dr. Fowler's Sword. Oh, on the sideboard? I saw people playing Ensnaring Bridge this weekend. Okay, one, two. So that's not quite it. So I think I'm just going to... Oh, I shouldn't have played my land. That was stupid. We're going to go like this. And pass. This is what you got. Sorry about that, Jonesy. How you doing tonight, Cody Jones? I am looking to play... I'm going to start playing some bunch of different stuff. I think. Because like I pretty much know how to play Death Shadow. And I would like to be able to play... Try some other decks out here. Same shit, different day. That's life. So I don't really know if I want to run this Ironworks out. Because my opponent obviously kept 7 and they have something. So they probably have something like an Abrade. I almost want to just like... Because we're not under any pressure either. I kind of want to like... Go fishing for a Scrap Trawler. Or maybe like... A Psy... Buried Ruin's not bad. So now that we drew Buried Ruin, 
I do think I'm going to run out this this ironworks. I'm going to put some money down GGO and start playing more online. That's the best way to it's the best way to get good, Cody. If that is what you are looking to do. So I don't I think we're going to try like mini go off here. Not like everything. I think I'm just gonna like pass now. Because I could cycle this, but like next turn I can have more mana, buried ruin something back, just give myself more time. And if he just shoots this, then I can just bury ruin it back next turn. One, two, and then I'm one. If I draw like a Mox Opal, I can go off again, or at least try it. Yeah. The grudge is kind of annoying. Because the grudge is going to let them, like, hit something on the back end. Cody, you could always do, like, the uh, Mana Trader's rent system, too. Like, that's not that bad. So I should just have all the disruptions. This is where we need, like, a sigh. I'm going to surgical this thing. Yeah, they are. All right. So this game's going to get a little harder. Yeah, you got it. So we're going to have to dig the side now. Which is okay. I think the best way that we're going to do that is we're going to, like, bury ruin back this Icker Wellspring. And then try to work from there. It's going to get a little tougher. I can also like, I guess it's kind of loose. Because if I like run this, like it could well spring this back, play the Mind Stone. No, I guess we're going to do that. So let's get this Wellspring back. No, we're going to go play this Mind Stone, tap both the Mind Stones, and then get the Wellspring. I'm glad we brought in the Psy. And there's no point playing that, so we'll pass. It is nice to have these Nature's Claims in my pocket as well, considering they're like an aggro deck of some sorts. Just got another Venge Vine. Oh god. This got bad quick. So what is that? 12 then 12, so I'm going to have to claim something. It's going to be a little more tough to get in here with these... to get around these things, unless we go nuts with the side. But again, that's tough to do. Alright, we're going to play this one first because it's even on mana. Might as well add green. Sack this. So we have double nature's claim, but like, again, we're not really getting anywhere. It's gonna gain us life, set us up for the next one as well. Forest. So we might as well just put out some more artifacts. Play my forest. We'll probably end up nature's claiming our dark steel citadel. Just to gain a little bit more life, and hopefully they don't get us here. <laughs> You return from yoga. Nice. You must be back in college there, Archmage. How is the semester starting for you? Let's call it Tarn. Hopefully this buys us a turn. 
we're pretty much on like the side and we have to like go nuts with side too and I don't know if we're gonna be able to go that nuts without nine works I'm still working in the semester but still working during the semester but I'm on the campus nice Down three, you got a bolt. Do you have a lightning bolt, sir? Yes, you do. Okay. So maybe I shouldn't have played my ironworks without being like confident that I could go off because this because like potentially surgical. That's kind of like the next level of this deck. Like after I understand how it works. I don't know if we need all of our nature's claims. Bring up one more of these. The Gal Blasts kill Hollow One. They also kill Vengevine. Maybe they're just better than the Nature's Claims. We didn't see a ley line that game. They had Surgical, which means they probably don't have Surgical Plus. Um, I doubt they have Surgical and uh, whatever it is. And ley line. So yeah, let's try this. Do something a little different. Would like to play first. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. This is a double terrarium on one. I'm playing Venice Fair, start gaining some life on two. It's gonna be interesting to think about like how we play around surgical extraction. It's something I haven't really gotten to yet with this deck. Like once I understand how to get it to function, figuring out how to operate it through surgical. Probably the best way to operate it through surgical is to just draw a side. I'm assuming everything gets easier once we have Psy in play. Maybe we should play more than the sideboard. I, I don't know. Benchvine Mountain. You have a Cycle Cycle Hollow One? No. So we're going to do this. Get green, blue. I did not end up playing KCI. Yeah, the tournament, tournament did not go super well. We ended up going three and three on day one. Be a little unfortunate, I thought. I don't really want to expose this scrap trawler yet, so I think I'm just gonna play this, play sphere, play mindstone, and then pass, and then like wait another turn, look to inventor's fair back. Set up an Inventor's Fair, then go Inventor's Fair into Scrap Trawler. Yeah, Turbo was rough. We we ended up playing Mardu, Blue White, and Infect. Johnny played Blue White. Yep, Johnny did well. Well, Johnny Johnny did well. Johnny and I did decent. Our Infect player struggled. He was pretty. He ran pretty bad. He actually did pretty well in the PGQ the next day, but he just just kind of ran bad in the tournament. Lost to some good matchups. Mulligan to like three in one game. Like. It was tough. Like he definitely, he definitely did not. He didn't run well enough to win a, to do well in a tournament, you know. And sometimes that happens, you know. Like that's magic. I thought Johnny played well. I thought Johnny's deck looked good. Like man, that blue white deck looks decent. All right, so we're just going to sit here, get an Ironworks, try to set something up where we can Ironworks unless my opponent taps out here. I thought UW was bad dealing with him. Dude, I, I do not – I can't explain it, but the deck is good. I literally can't explain it, Archmage. So we should be pretty good if my opponent like taps out here to, and we can play around surgical pretty easily. What's going to be hard is if they leave mana up. Yeah, so now it's harder to play around surgical. 
No, I didn't even go get it. Which is okay. Just zoned out there. There's a Mind Stone. It's good to also get like a separate set of cards going in here. Get this. We can just start building a huge board. Buried Ruin is nice because Buried Ruin is going to let us play around Surgical on our, on our Ironworks. So now we're just going to wait one more turn, then go get to KCI, and then go off. Unless my opponent just plays a Vengevine. They delving. This is a big. This is the old Hooter. You can only play around surgical and KCI by having two in the battlefield and having buried ruin. It's not easy sometimes. Yeah, but like we're we're okay not right now to do that. Like, because we're not being we we don't have any pressure put on us. So like, let's just not lose. Let's just sit here, crack Inventor's Fair at the end of their turn. And then play it. There's just no need to. All right, it's not like my opponent's putting a clock on, and that could change quickly. But even if it does, we're at 22 and we're going up. We can always like play this scrap trawler for a little bit of value. What if he has two surgicals? Then I'm in trouble, dude. It, you just barely started following. I'm assuming that's Dalloway. Just barely hit the follow button. What a what a what a poser. My neck is sore. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, one left. <laughs> He ditched the hollow one. That just means they gotta be sitting on some kind of good stuff here. And again, we're just gonna pass. Just get him, go get this, and then we should be all set. We'll leave the buried ruin up to return it. I guess that doesn't even. Do I have to put the ironworks on the battlefield? Trying to like think. If they tap out of here, so this means that they like they showed us ancient grudge. So if they leave one mana up, it's gotta be something like shattering spree, which I'm much less much less uh worried about them getting here. In the middle of being on her stream, nice. Alright, let's go get this. So, get the Ironworks. So now we've got one, two, three, four. We can actually just play this Ironworks. We can play the Scrap Trawler first. I want to figure out how I play around the Surgical. I leave Buried Ruin up, I believe is how I do it. So let's go, we'll tap this, tap our Artifacts, leave up our Mind Stones. Get rid of the low costing ones. And then get our iron get our scrap trawler in play. And now we should be good. Are we derive this are we der deriving joy from playing this deck? I think it's really good. Yeah, I would have to take a break after that. Okay, so let's crack this, get back Mox Opal. I want to play this deck because I want to win. I think this deck is very good. Okay, what's going on here? Okay. So now we've got a one in the graveyard. Let's sack this. Get our one back here. 
It's okay. So this gets back that. So now we have an Ikri Wellspring. So let's go sack this, draw a card. We'll get back to Rarian. Now this is the sweet part about this deck is that like it doesn't even like you don't even have as soon as you get set up like none of this even gets it. So what is this getting? Let's get back Mox Opal. This already got so now we can go like this. Sacrifice this, draw a card. We have another Mind Stone. This gets back. I guess Dark Steel Citadel. And oh yeah, he's just. Tr I I know, Joe uh, Cody. I know, I know da Dalawab. He's just. He's just. Uh, <clears throat> he's just trolling me. My plans are to share and crush this weekend. Okay, so what else can I get back? I can get back a chromatic sphere. And we'll get this back. And then we'll reevaluate now that we've reloaded. And now we can just wait because we're not going to change phases because we have so much more to do here. Then this gets back Icker Wellspring. We just need to not tap below Fairy Druid Mana. Icker Wellspring gets back Roots back to Icker Wellspring. We draw a card from Terrarian. We get back Mox Opal. So now we play this. We can still get back the scrap trawlers. This is the trick here. We're just gonna like never tap below two mana and just try to go off through this surgical. Oh, we are. Yeah, we don't have a scrap trawler in play. So I just I messed up there. Like I just didn't have to. I just did another step that I didn't have to do. Okay, so there's another Inventor's Fair. We've already played a land this turn, yeah. I play three high leagues a day and still don't know. So I went eight and three, would have been six and five. My opponents played it optimally. Yeah, I mean, like, I really like that shadow. I just, I, I don't think it's super great right now, and I want to have another deck in my pocket that I can play. And I think this deck is like. A deck that you just attack a completely opposite metagame than Death Shadow. You want to do with Death Shadow? Okay, so there's a spell bomb. So now we're just fishing for another scrap trawler. We are getting a little low on that. Let's make a green mana. Alright, where are you? Grave Chest on back playing Blue White and Sarah Keeps out. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Mirror Retriever is gonna cause make them act. So we're gonna put Mirror Retriever on the stack next. Sack Mirror Retriever. And if my opponent has two surgicals, then we're in trouble. So Mirror Retriever gets back scrap trawler. Always yield. And if they go to surgical this, we buried ruin it. This is targeting Scrap Trawler. Get back Scrap Trawler. Do you have a second surgical? No. Okay. Burn him out. You got 12. I guess at that point I could have just looped. Once I get Scrap Trawler back, okay, I can just loop Mox Opals and get him. Well, no. I needed, to, I needed a way to generate red mana now. I needed Scrap Trawler to do that regardless, because I have to loot Mox Opal. So by the time I had all of the Gal Blasts, I did still needed Scrap Trawler in order to make enough mana. I, I guess not, maybe not necessarily on that turn. I could have done it over a couple turns. 
Great shots in the back. We played Blue White and Syracuse. Yep. I mean, that deck's good. Like, my teammate played that one. My teammate played that. And the deck just looks good. The deck's just, like, like Blue White is the new giant. Like, it's not necessarily, like, a control deck. As it is, like, you just have good cards at, like, 2, 4, 2, 4, and 5. Like, you just got so many good cards on your curve. Are you playing Illumination? Brandon, if you should play like, I think you should play all your illuminations. Like my like Johnny was playing opt, and that card didn't look that great. And if you just played it as illumination, then like, I think illumination is where you want to be. Like you can just cycle that, and you just all you lose out on it with uh, is a scry, you know. And I know that's necessarily like, kind of big, but like when you're not hitting terminus with opt, it's not very good. I think you would do. I think you would do well just trying illuminations be, uh, over the ops, because like ops opt is pretty bad unless you hit terminus, and you can still do like the whole set it up. Like if you're gonna Jace brainstorm it or know it's there from your from your scries, you can still do that on their turn. Dude, Rafi, do you have Twitter? Like, how do you look at all this stuff? Like, if you have Twitter, Rafi, and you haven't been telling me, like, I'm pretty sad. I feel like we're less of friends. I need to go get some more water. That's on Instagram. I would like to play first. This hand. This hand's okay. It's actually pretty good. Oh my god, my neck hurts. We got like a turn. We don't have a turn two trawler unless we hit um unless we hit whatever it is, Dark Steel Citadel here. I almost want to play Bobble in this deck, just because like it's another zero. Yeah, the cycle card from Amonkhet that draws two. All right, let's go like this. Play this. Tap both of them. So we're playing against Blue White. Blue White's kind of a tough matchup. Doesn't exactly the early turns of the game are the most important. That's what your deck struggles. Whoa, we had a spell snare. All right, that's a card I have not seen in a hot minute. It's White Wall. You don't say. All right, let's. This matchup's tough. Like, if I don't win game one, I'm pretty. I'm in a lot of trouble, because like they get rest in peace and stony silence after sideboard. And that's just like not good for the home team. Problem with walls that conflicts with counter spells and search. Yeah. But. Yeah, I mean, every time, like, every, the speak of the devil, every time Johnny played this card for four mana, it was fantastic. And when he just cycled it, it was fine. This is one of the hard parts about this deck that I don't really know a lot of yet, is, like, when do I start just cracking these? Like, you need a critical mass in play for when it's turn it's your time to go off but i don't know when that is good to do usually wall is good when counters walls and searches are bad so if i decide to go off here i can play this land still have four mana use this to get something back so let's dig one more I really don't want to play this, expose this scrap trawler yet. Because it's just going to get passed. But like, 
Yeah, I don't really have a lot going on at the moment. I guess I can crack one. I'm going to crack this one. This is the only part of the deck that I'm not sure about yet. Like, what do you start cracking when you're just fishing? Like, when you're fishing without an Ironworks, because you need to have a critical mass in play, but, like, you also need to find the Ironworks. He's going to Buried Ruin this. That was probably loose. I probably should have kept up to counter this Buried Ruin. Yeah, I just, like, lost some value there. I found it a lot easier to maneuver through the post-war games against decks with a wall. Whereas it's easy to get out drawn and matches with a wall over. Ancestral Visions. All right. All right, we're going to sack, well, this one. No, we're going to sack this one because it makes us be able to tap. Ironworks. Play Ironworks without playing another land. Alright, stir the pot. I guess we didn't have to because we could mod up anyways. God, we just missed again. So we're just going to keep digging. Could we get another, maybe another... Probably would have been better to get another Scrap Trawler, but the Trawler, once you have Ironworks in play, it doesn't really matter how many Trawlers you have. Alright, let's just play this. And then pass the turn. We're in, this is not looking great. This deck. Yeah, I mean, if I could have Ancestral Visions on one, we play a lot. You're just going to slam this Teferi right down my throat. Yeah, he is. So this means we gotta have we gotta have some kind of two mana interaction here. All right, so I'm gonna cycle this Mind Stone now because it costs mana, and we just don't want to be choked there. All right, we definitely can tap this one. Then we'll probably tap a Yavamaya Coast because our we're doing fine. Jeez. One, two. All right, let's sack this. We just need to find Ironworks, basically. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can't play around Mana Leak or Logic Knot. So, what else do they have? They're going to have some janky, like, sensor, whatever. We're not going to play around that. All right, come on, dude. I mean, we knew this was going to happen, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the longer this game goes, the worse it's getting for the home team. And again, we're just running stuff out here in order to make it so that on our turn, we can do more things. Opponents confirmed a cop. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, dude, just just jace me. Cycle illumination. Look at that. Look at that illumination. That is some hieroglyphic stuff right there. I wonder how much longer I'm gonna play this game. And I do believe the answer is not much. What can we do here? One. One, two. So this gets it back, and then we can just jam it. All right. We got a pretty low, if this resolves by some act of God, then 
we're in pretty good shape, but it's not going to. All right, I yield. Doing better than Serum Visions for Teferi, plus Teferi for what it's worth. Would it have been better? Because while you get to scry, you can scry all you want. The Illuminations drew him another card. Okay, so I like to board out the explosives because their main thing to hurt us is Tony Silence. That doesn't really do a lot there. We usually cut one spell bomb, one mirror retriever, shave on the bad spears. I like to shave a mox and then two mind stones. And that's how we do it. Because you can scry with your cards. Scrying with cards is great. But drawing more cards is always better. All right. Uh, this hand's not great. Pretty cold to, like, a stony silence. But I do get to get one of these off at the end of this next turn. So we get to see, like, four or five cards. So I'm going to keep this. We do have to draw, like, a way to deal with stony silence. I'd rather look at four cards plus have more mana than three cards. I have one extra for decks full of blanks. Game one. Okay, I can understand that. Mardu was like Mardu, you know, like it was just straight medium. Like, you're not going to beat an Ancient Stirrings deck playing Mardu. You know, like that's that's just the cost of doing business. Hey, Mulligan, which is gas. Like, that's just what you sign up for. And we knew, like, we really needed our Infect player to hit the uh, Ancient Stirrings decks, and that's just not how it lined up. I got two Ancient Stirrings decks. I got three Ancient Stirrings decks. I beat two of them, one of them, but lost the other. All right, so we're just going to cycle this. Gross. Um, I don't think the, ooh, God, the Spell Snares have been gas from this guy. I don't think Hardened Scales is, like, great by any means. Like, when I played against Hardened Scales, I narrowly beat him in game one and then uh, got him in game two because of a ley line. KCI and Tron are horrible. KCI is so bad, I didn't even board in Wear Tear. Like... I just boarded in four ley lines and two cam balls. Yeah. I can buy that. So now I need to draw an ironworks. All right, well, dude, that negate is. God, a freaking. That's why th this matchup's not good. For those of you watching at home. So now we have like the million dollar question. So he took my scrap trawler. So even if I find an ironworks, he's just gonna detention sphere it. But I guess getting detention sphere versus having it resolve is better than even if we don't do anything. I just feel like KCI is very small with all the other decks being quite a bit of bigger than aggro. I think that, yeah, I mean, like, uh, I've been playing a lot of KCI last month or so. You need something that beats Blue White Spirits. Probably. I don't know. I haven't played the deck enough to really know that. I think I'm just going to play this and then, like, Buried Ruin back, maybe, like, an Icar Wellspring. 
This matchup's not good. Like, th I don't feel good about this deck, and I don't feel good about, like, Infect a lot. Or, like, Burn when I play this deck. But I felt like I've been in the other games. I, I definitely, like, you need, like, Psy fixed a lot of that. Yeah. It's just Disruption plus... Wow, this might be sweet. It's just Disruption plus uh, Aggression. Alright, so here's our time to shine. So none of these cost us mana. So I don't think that I'm going to crack any of these now. But I am going to... I don't even want to crack this to get back at Icar Wellspring. Because I want to save a mana up in case we hit an Inventor's Fair or another Buried Ruin. Yeah, I think we're just going to, like, crack these on our turn. Alright, nice. Sack this. We don't have too many looks at it here. All right, so there's another Ironworks, which is good and bad, because that ass moved to Hollow One. Yeah, I still think the deck's pretty solid, Robbie. Like, it's just like this. This being a tough matchup is hard. Like, I think Psy helps a lot of that stuff you were saying. All right, yeah, maybe. Okay, so sack this, play, scratch all. I don't have a zero to bring back, which is tough. I haven't played a land. Or did I? Did I play a land? Attack plays Dark Steel Citadel cast. Okay, so I have. Unfortunately, I just like don't have a way to get this scrap trawler in play and have enough mana. Unless I just go get Icar Wellspring. Unless I sack the trawler to get Icar Wellspring. Yeah, we did play Citadel. Yeah. Sack this. Get this back. We don't have a zero. Not having a zero sucks. Because we don't have enough mana. Because if we had a zero, we could draw. We could hit we could hit this, have enough mana to then sack the ironworks. Sack this four. This is in play. Sack ironworks. Make five. Sack this. Play the other one. I guess we can do that. This puts us to four, down to one. Sack up to three. No, we have to play the bomb. Down to one. Play one to two. Up to four. Get Ironworks back in play. But then I'm at, then I have no mana. But I have Scrap Trawler plus Ironworks. Down to one. Play this, go down to one, up to, up to five, up to four. I can just sack Scrap Trawler and look to get back Icker Wellspring and look to keep digging. I really want to try to go off in this turn because my opponent doesn't have any defense. So I think I'm going to go for it here. I think, I think we're going to make a go at it. I don't think we're going to play the Pyrite Spellbomb because of that. I can see because Emika likes decks to nonsense. Yeah. If they have Spell Snare, they, they've already shown me one. I don't think they played that many Spell Snares. Okay, so let's... Now it looks like we are out of mana. 
once we play this, I can just draw another card. And then I'm out. So, or I can go, you jeez. Know, I think we're just going to go like this. Go like that and pass. Yeah, we just bricked. Which sucks, because I really want to try to go off there. But, it just didn't work out. I just needed a zero. If I had like a Mox Opal, we boarded out our Engineer Explosives. But if I would have had a Mox Opal, we would have been fine. Because I would have had enough mana to then sack this Ironworks. And then start going down the train. It's just going to go to Fairy. If it goes to Fairy, tuck my Ironworks, we have another shot at it. So we have another shot at it. We just know that our that our ironworks is like underneath. Oh wow. So we just have like another ironworks just sitting there. That sucks so much. So we're literally gonna draw another ironworks next turn. Put target non-land permanent into its own library, third from the top. So there's one more that's in between this. I could just play Negate. I'll hold up Negate. Like getting this iron. I'm going to be able to push this Ironworks through using a Negate. They only have three cards. What are they going to play? They're not going to play anything scary. I'm just going to put this in play. And pass. Yeah, you bored out, I bored out explosives because of uh, because of Stony Silence. Like, I, and I'm bringing in Nature's Claims, which Nature's Claims hits all the same things it, it, plus Stony Silence. We definitely got like punished there because we didn't have a good answer. Like, if we would have had a, just a, it would like the what it would have done there is just been uh, four mana cards, one, two, three, and four, or whatever, or not four mana. They would have been a. Uh, Free casting cost. Return this to my hand. So if I draw another card, the card underneath is an Ironworks. So we're just going to let this go. We get a new draw step, but after this, we know we're drawing Ironworks. We decide we're 2 to 3 rip. I know LSAT keeps in some explosives. But yeah, I, I think, it, like, did he do that pre psi or post psi? Because like I'm bringing in four four claims in one uh, whatever the one is that kills all the enchantments. We can just pirate this thing also. I mean, like we're probably gonna have to do that. He didn't destroy it. God, I mean the card underneath is Ironworks as well. well. At least now we know we can push. Oh shit, I tapped like an asshole. Oh, that was so stupid. But he has sensor in his deck too? Jesus. So we know the ironworks under underneath. We have another one coming. Let's see how his board was. I, I have a dated list. Dylan never punished how he did. Everybody's good at something. Mystic Gate, that's gas. We get colonnaded. Snapcaster Mage. Oh, what a tilt. We did get punished. That's okay. We deserve that. We could negate. We would have this negated. And then we would be in it. Alright. So we know we're drawing another ironworks. We probably just we can't even shoot this. We probably just have to cycle one of these. I'd like gate or ghost quarter if you don't play crucible. Okay. Striped Riverwinder. Nice. Alright, let's... 
So we're going to draw an Ironworks. Now this draw step has got to be good, or my opponent has to have nothing. Both are high. Okay, well, there's step one. That's not even that great, because, like... Okay, so... Sack this... Sack this, sack this. Yeah, dude, we're just going like full yellow at this point. We're not going to play a land yet. Not holding up the gate again. Yeah, dude, we're just, we're all off it. I'm focused. All right, sack this, sack this. This gets back. God, this deck is so hard to play. Actually, because I didn't play a land yet, right? Did I not play a land? Am I a genius? Yeah, gas. So let's sack this. Get back Darksteel Citadel. This gets path, so I didn't do anything. Sacrifice this. This gets back. Icker Wellspring. The plan there was to get back the Darksteel Citadel, play the Darksteel Citadel, sack the you tap mana, make make three mana with the Darksteel Citadel, then we can sack Ironworks and keep going. That didn't end up working. Like I wanted it to, though. Oh, we drew a Psy, though. Psy's not bad. Uh, we're going to play Psy. And then hope we hit a good card off of this. Off of this Wellspring sack. We didn't. Nope, they got us. So they just fire up there, and that's seven on the dot. So I think there's other ways I could have played that out there. But, like, maybe I'm not supposed to sack my one drop there, but, like, I was just a little choked on mana. Like, they just barely harassed me enough. Ain't nothing to fuck with, yeah. And that's why that blue-white deck is good. Like, I don't understand, like, why. Like, it's just good. Like, it, it's just John. Like, your cards are so powerful all the way up. Like, Search for His Canto, Snapcaster Mage. There's nothing good at three mana, I guess. Um, you like, Timely Reinforcements. That card's pretty good, but it's not that good. It's like, then at four, you've got Cryptic Command, Jace, Teferi. You've got, a, like, a, even Illumination in some matchups is just, like, backbreaking because you just draw two cards. What is it? There's, like, Detention Sphere and... What cards are good at Unless you're talking about, like, Snap Serum Visions. I did just die to a click, yes. Vendillion click. Yeah, so that card's just... It's playing, like, Serum Visions. So that card's... That deck is just really good curve one through six. The deck's real good. I don't know how it's so good. But it is. <laughs> Dude... We're two matches in. Playing this deck is making me fry. It's hard to play. I could have done... I don't know. There are many more lines I probably could have taken in that last game. If I would just had more mana. And maybe it's like right to leave in some number of explosives just because when you need them, they're they're two mana. But I had to figure out what my... My sideboard's probably a little... It's probably a little dated. Like, I'm not quite good enough with the deck yet to build my own sideboard. I just kind of took a list. I had no idea what's happening. Uh, yeah, this hand's pretty solid. We can play two one-drops on one, which is sweet. I do like the Dark Steel Citadel hands. I saw, um, whatever, it was like Edgar Maglehay's team or we're playing against another blue-white deck. That's a pretty sick draw.
you have a pretty solid hand. So hopefully my opponent just doesn't mess with me. Play the the card. This is like the Manamorphos of this deck. Dude, let's just hope my opponent does something stupid. This is stupid. Yes. What is this hitting? Don't hit my Mox Awful. Hit my Pyrite Spell Bomb. Gas. All right. You're dead. Manamorphos is a language I understand. Opponent is dead. One, most likely dead. It's just going to take a while and it's going to be painful. Mirror Retriever, they're actually dead. Then we play this. Uh, that's the loop for infinite cards and mana. I'd appreciate it if you scoop, but you don't have to. I can show it to you. So. Uh, my opponent, I don't know if you have any more cards to kill me. Uh, I'll find the second pilot. Okay, so this is legit. They don't know, like, if they can kill me or not. So let's just sack this, because this is fun. Yeah, I play two. So this... This gets back Chromatic Star. Oh, shit. They have two in their detention sphere. I'll find an E and loop it eventually. I didn't even notice they took two of them. So get this. Sack this. This gets back. Okay, so now we go like this. Make a different color mana. Sack this. Yeah, EE as soon as we'll be fine. Just start looping so they can see. Now, yeah, because they're they're dead, but I'm just trying to do it like the most clickiest, efficient way, and this is at least a little easier at the moment. Like I, can, I can do the whole loop here, but the loop is more annoying than just fishing. So, like, right now we're just fishing. And then if, once I can't fish anymore, then I'll sack the mirror retriever and do the actual loop. This is just, like, moto click equity. That's all this is right here. Okay, so now we've wrecked. So now sack this. This. Oh, I did that in the wrong way. So now this is going to get even more annoying because I just muffed that up. This is why I did not play the deck at Grand Prix, though, because I didn't quite know exactly what was going on. But the Mirror Retriever can still get back the KCI, which will get back the Mirror Retriever, so it's not really that big of a deal. Mox Opal, get this back. Okay, so there's another Mirror Retriever. So now we're just... All right, so this gets back Chromatic Star, Mirror Retriever gets back Ironworks, Always Yield, Make with that, play this. I don't even need to play this. We're going to just do this for Click Equity. So it gets back Mox Opal. There's the Mind Stone. 
I'm going to just play this back out here. Sacrifice. Here's like a sacrifice. I'm like losing. This is what happens. Like I get going in here and then I just start losing my mind when I start playing this deck. Which is the hard part about it. Like sometimes you just start going and it's like so unholy, ungodly that you just like can't figure it out. It would be nice if my opponent would just like, because like in, in paper I would just present the loop and be good. But I've got nature's claims for this thing. Like, what are you, what are you talking about, Dalloway? What are you talking about? All right, I don't even know why I'm looping this anymore. Because there's no need to do this. Because I, like, if I actually sit here and think, I can do the double, double trial or mirror retriever loop. But I really hope I don't have to do that. I hope I just hit an engineer's closes. I'm due. I'm through the top twenty cards of my deck. It should just magically be there. And this is like the dumb part. Like the, there's nothing like intelligent going on here. This is just like moto concession here. Get back to Rarian. Uh, play this. This is just the... I saved you, Dan. All right. Whatever you say, sir. You're, you're right. There's another Ironworks. Draw a card. Get back. Terrarian. Come on, Engineered Explosives. Where are you? All right, there's another trawler. So now, now we'll sack this ironworks because this will get me back a million stuff. Icker Wellspring, where are your Mind Stone? Play another ironworks. God, this is so annoying. This is this is honestly one of the reasons that this deck is held back because there's a certain amount of people that would play this deck that just don't because it's just miserable on moto because like now because all I'm doing now is just clicking and like not thinking because it's easier than executing the loop over and over again it's like right now all I would do in real life is I would just be like judge present a loop and then I would just draw my whole deck and find what I need I probably should start looping my mox opals again. That's another thing. Like, I have to worry about where are my engineered explosives? I to worry about like looping my mox opals. I really hope my opponent just like dies when I find this. Um, when I find this engineered explosive, they just don't make me do all this over again. This gets back to Rarian. This gets back to Rarian. I'm not even playing it. I'm getting tilted for you. Yeah, it's just the annoying part of this game. And it's like the annoying part of like... I guess like I... It's, it's hard for me to like complain about the Moto community. Because like, for example, as soon as, as soon as somebody showed me a loop... Like I would concede because... Especially when playing a deck like this. It's more important that I play against it and play well like I would rather be um, I would rather be playing a cyborg game right now because honestly against his deck there's probably more value in that because you just like you're gonna learn more from the cyborg games yeah, where's my engineer explosives? Come on, where are you? All right, I might as well look for it now. God, it's still not there. We're through like, I've only got like 18 cards left in my deck.
Is it like back further in my hand? They're just like all eight, all three of my engineer explosives on the bottom of my library. Let's get back Terrarian. This gets back Terrarian. All right, great. So now I just have to figure out how to not lose, how to not, like I need to not make sure I don't lose my scrap trawlers. So sack this, this gets back, this, this gets back, this, just for shits and giggles. I don't think it actually matters. I have another one of these. I have a scrap trawler in my hand. I just need to make sure I can get another scrap trawler to just have the loop. So then how I have that is I play this. Okay, let me go play this engineer explosives. One, two, three. Done. This gets back engineered explosives. Okay, thank God. Okay. So like how that actually works for like people that are watching here. So I do I do know what I'm doing. Once you get the scrap trawler into play, I have my pirate spell bomb. Shoot them for one. You you go mox opal make red sack. Shoot them for one. Mox opal back. Play your scrap trawler. Okay. You then sack your scrap trawler to get back another scrap trawler. No, you sack the mirror. Which I can't even speak now. You sack. Once you get those in play, I can't even describe it. See, this is what happened at the GP when I was doing the practice rounds is like I just couldn't talk out the combo. Like I was like, I know you're dead, but I couldn't describe it. When you've got the two in play, you've got your two, you have two ironworks, a mirror retriever and a scrap trawler, pyrite spell bomb, and the other, the other one on the board. You then go sack, you sack scrap, you sack mirror retriever. To get the other two back. See, I can't even talk. This is like what happened. When things like that happen, this is why I didn't end up playing it. I just got flustered. Now I can't even speak it out. Whew. Saw you walking around. We didn't do that well at the GP. We uh we just got things just didn't work out for us. I'm gonna leave one of these in. But I think I think that I I don't think these are as good as my other answers. easier yeah I mean the shadow deck it might be okay right now I'm not sure but like I want to have another deck set up and this one just I need some practice with it in order for me to get it set up but it's hard to play yeah if you play shadow you just die and get to stop playing way earlier exactly yeah but I can't even like you just get flustered and that's what happened with me and that's why I didn't play it. Like, I went up and I ran up against, uh, I just ran into, like, a kind of a rough judge call. The guy was kind of being a jerk, but and I just couldn't, didn't function. So this hand is a, makes me a little nervous. Like, this hand's okay if we get to turn this Mox Opal on before a Stony Silence comes down. And so if we draw a one or we draw, like, a Yava Maya Coast or a way to just kill... So I'm going to keep this, but like this hand's definitely a little sketchy. I do need to play quickly. I'm not even going to cast it. He's not going to counterspell it. Oh, that's gas. So now we go like this. Don't spell snare me, bro. God, they always have this. This that's oh, an opt, okay. We drew lowest box round one and punt over this, and that's tough. Uh, you yeah, if you play Shadow, you just die. You stop playing. Wait, yeah, it, it sucks. Play deck's just not super great at the moment. 
What is this? We're about to get clicked. What are you going to do to me, bro? I think we're going to stir here. Just look for a redundant copy of either of these pieces. Yep, there's another scrap trawler. So I could just jam this scrap trawler, and that might incentivize my opponent to go like path, untap, play Jace. Which if they play Jace, they likely die. So let's let's see if they take the bait here. Modern's bad against a lot of the format. Yeah. Which is tough. So now we're hoping they just slam, they play like just to tap out here, and then they're probably dead. Especially considering we have a buried ruin that can get us back something after we go here. One, two, three, four, five. Or we can actually play Ironworks and hold up Negate like an adult. Cryptic me, bro. Please cryptic me. God, get out of my face. Killing calling himself an adult is a meme. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. We actually don't have a lot in the graveyard. So this might be like a mini go off here. Okay, so we hit a star, which is Dece. Get back Mox Opal. Come on, baby. Oh, we bricked. We bricked and we played a land. The other alternative is we just sack this, get back Icar Wellspring, and try to keep going. No, I think that's kind of bad. Especially with this buried ruin. I think we're just gonna like hold up and then just pass the turn and look to like try to rebuild again next turn. I'm gonna I am gonna play this though. Dude, I am an adult. I pay taxes. That makes me an adult. Hopefully they just play Stony Silence. Get back at Coral Spring. <whistles> so if we go like this, let's play this sigh. Okay, so if he counters this, we're just going to go make a bunch of mana, get back our scrap trawler. I'm going to try to keep... I don't really want to play anything else. This is four mana. No. Tap for six. I guess I could have paid for that, but I just wasn't thinking at the moment. So let's go like this. This gets back Scrap Trawler. Now I'm running out of mana a little bit. Because like the best way to do this technically is to like have as much in play as possible. Yeah, I thought that was I thought that was a little over the top. There. Like regardless of what you think about him. I think that was a bit of too much of a ban. I don't think we're gonna be able to live the buried ruin dream. So let's just go like this, play this. You need to hit something decent here. That was not that decent. So let's sack these, sack these, get this in play. 
this gets back chromatic star. All right, we hit a mine stone, which is pretty awesome. It's a def def severe. Yeah, like my biggest issue with like, because like you know I was a Matt Folks fan. Like I I subscribed to his channel on YouTube for a while. Is that his apology just wasn't sincere, like, at all, I didn't think. And it's like, come on, man, like, like, he, he was making, like, flooded strand jokes afterwards, which just doesn't, it just doesn't look good. We are, like, a little bit brick in here. If we could hit, like, an Icker Wellspring, that would be nice. Because that would keep us going here. All right, we hit a Terrarian. We need something that hits like if we hit if we ever hit two cards, we're in really good shape. But that's what we need. We need like a second way to keep going here. Yeah, the apology wasn't an apology. Yeah, exactly. Like and maybe it doesn't matter to him, you know, like maybe Oh man. Okay, so I can sack. God, we just bricked. Alright, we're gonna pass again. Yeah, we just bricked. I could sack this scrap trawler, but I don't really want to do that. Because, like, if we sack the scrap trawler and get back Icar Wellspring, we're in such a bad spot. Where we can just do that anyways this turn, and we can go, like, Inventor's Fair for whatever we need next turn. And if he hits this, then we're probably just going to sack it. It's a foil to fairy. That's decent. So I can sack this. To make mana. To get back Icar Wellspring. Which is probably okay. We don't want to draw this again. So let's go get this Icar Wellspring. Especially when we can just bring it back next turn. So now we just go get this Teferi off the board. Then we, tef we get this back. Then we try to just do this song and dance all again. We got another Teferi. No, he's not doing anything. You're going to click me. The thing is, we also just don't even really have to just jam this thing. Especially now that we found a second one. Because what are we doing? Now, we're probably actually pretty good. Because we can loop a Mox Opal. So whatever. Your one card, a Counterspell. Alright. Get this. Cancel. Put this into play. Always loop your small ones first. We hit a buried ruin, though we played a land for the turn already. Now let me get make mana. I'm not going to be talking too, too much because I do have to, like, actually kill my opponent. All right. We're getting a little desperate here. All right. So we hit two things, which is really what we had to do. Hitting two is good because that just gives us more velocity. And we can also just sack an Ironworks to get back something if we feel like that is what we're going to have to do, which it does look like it. We're not going to loop the Mox Opal because that just takes too much time at this point. We're going for maximum speed. Should have made a blue mana at some point. This gets back 
Hicker Wellspring. Oh, we had another one. I didn't see that. I should just make a blue mana just to do it. Nature's Flame, your KCI. Okay, so here's like the big question. I'm probably going to do it because it gives me another way to win if we run to time here. Because this Psy is just going to like take over this game. Do another Icar Wellspring, which is good. This gets back Terrarian. We do another Ironwork. So my opponent is dead. Whether they want to realize it or not, because they're just we're just gonna make infinite size. We're gonna make a million side tokens. We have 23 cards left in my deck. We have another scrap drawer. Yeah, the motive clock is like, it's obviously it's needed. So Grove, Terrarian, any order. Because, like, my opponent is dead as a doorknob here. It's all about, like, whether we can do it or not. At least now it's going to auto-do, which is nice. We can just kill them over, like, one attack phase. Okay, so there's the Pyrite Spell Bomb. So now we can actually just try to loop this the hard way. Keep this. Sack this. Deal two to you. You should play your wet. I hate doing that on Moto. You know what I mean? Because, like, yeah, it makes it easier. But it also like just sucks more. This gets back Pyrite Spell Bomb. This gets back Hicker Wellspring. Keep this. And it's just like. Like, you're so dead that it's not even funny. Why isn't it auto-target for me? Come on. We're going to loop back the Pyrite Spell Bomb. We still have one Mirror Retriever. We just haven't seen it yet. We might even just like stop doing this and just attack my opponent to death. All right, where are you, Mirror Retriever? You are nowhere to be found. So Mirror Retriever is literally like in the last however many spots in my deck. I wish you just auto did that. I don't know. It, whenever I have Psy in play, it never like auto does that. Like it always gives me back priority after I make a side trigger. It's like I'll just kill you, bro. Like I'll do it. Probably not even doing this like super super well. Like there's a couple different ways that I could do this. This gets back Pyrite Spell Bomb. Okay, so there's Mirror Retriever. All right. Retriever does make it infinite. And it's just like, I don't even, I'm not even going to worry about this now. I'm just going to pass. Hopefully, my opponent like lets me kill them.
Yeah, dude, I just discard whatever. Four million cards here. None of these matter. Keep my mocks open up for negate, sure. It's like whatever you want to do, man. I'll attack you with four million of these. This does like it does kind of suck that my opponent. I've I've played a minute and twelve seconds, and they've they're at twenty one sixteen. Watch him just keep a terminus in and then kill me. Dude, my eyes are like shaking out of my head after going through that. Yeah, dude, they just left their computer, which, I mean, whatever. Like, I would leave my computer as well, I guess. But I also wouldn't play that long. But I guess we were kind of, things were kind of hairy for a little while. Nice. Look at that. Good guy scooping it up. All right, we need to restart Moto here. So I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Watching this sweet deck here. Yeah, like, and so, like, I totally think that people, I wish that there was a way on Moto, or I wish it was a part of the Moto community that as soon as someone demonstrated a loop, you would just concede. It's also a little difficult because, like, maybe these people that we're playing against, like, have financial things that their Moto is. Like, for example, Andrew Jessup never scoops and he even like plays walking ballista games to get you to timeout. Like I was playing him against Turbo Fog and he like just I was like, you know, he's dead on board and he just walking ballista shot things and put counters on his walking ballista to time me out. And like maybe like is he is he a douchebag? Like maybe, but also maybe he actually needs this money that he gets from playing Moto. I don't know. And it's hard for me to just be like, this guy's terrible, when I don't exactly know everything about what's going on with them. I'm going to grab some more water. But maybe it's also like if you're playing if you're playing Magic Online, then maybe I shouldn't have any sympathy for you because it costs money to play Magic Online anyways. Like it is a luxury game. You know? So it's hard for me to be like super critical of people when I don't exactly know the whole story, but I do think that I think that if you're not worried about, like, unless you're trying to make a living off of Modo, which is also, like, kind of stupid, then, like, I think that you're just being a jerk doing that. Because, like, in paper, that's a win. And it's, like, you're just punishing us because of, you're punishing me because of the client. You know, there's, like, you are not beating me in Magic. You are beating me in Magic Online. But that's like my my mini rant. Felt nice to be blue white after they kind of thrashed us. I did beat a Grixis control deck earlier with just Scrap Trawler Mirror Retriever beatdowns. Uh, this hand's not that great, but I am gonna keep it. Like if we draw a one drop, then it's a turn three Ironworks, which is like you know pretty much what we're looking for. EE is kind of our um, way to catch up. Oath of Nyssa. I would be willing to bet we're going to stomp this deck. Like, you know, we might be a little be a little greedy saying that, but I would not be surprised if this works out pretty decent for the home team.
other decks are. I want to play more of the blue white deck. You know, I've been like critical of that deck, and I do just want to. I do want to play it more because, like, it's obviously good. Damn it. This is another one of those scenarios where we might just be able to, like, Thalia, Heretic, Cathar. Okay. So that doesn't really matter. So I could just stir, play Mirror. I really don't want to play Mirror Retriever until I have Ironworks up. But I also, like, just don't even really have... Like, I just play Ironworks and pass. Yeah, that's kind of mopey. <laughs> sack this, sack this. Sack this, play this, sack this. I mean, I guess because we have an Ancient Stirrings, we can just go fishing here and, like, not really be down a lot. Which is, it's kind of a nice aspect of this deck, is that you can just kind of, like, half go for it and, like, be set up for next turn. Your Betrayed doesn't deserve that. I'm going to play Death Shadow still. Like, it's my favorite deck. Like, I, I, I love playing the deck a lot. But it's just a, struggles a little bit at the moment. So this gets back. Icker Wellspring. Always yield. Another Mox Opal would be sweet. All right, Scrappy T means it's go time. This gets back to Rarian. So we've actually got a loop here. So let me see if I can do this right. I just muffed it up. What did I do? What did I do? I Did I sack the scrap trawler? No, did I sack the scrap trawler on accident when I was talking? Where did my scrap trawler go? I literally just sacked my scrap trawler. Oh, no. Oh, that is so annoying. This game is going to get so much harder now. <sighs> that is so sad. Just like super... I meant to like click... I just must have just clicked the wrong thing, not paying attention. Oh, we're going to get so punished for it. I guess we just get. Question is, how far do I go now? Get this mine stone. Oh, that is so annoying. So I am. We're done. Oh, just because I misclicked on the wrong thing. So what did I do? Did I just click on my trawler on accident when I meant to click on my... Ah, oh, that's annoying. That is so annoying. And I even hit my basics so that if they would have ghost... If they would have ghost courted me, then they would have put me back even further. Man. Alright. We should still be okay because, like, this ancient stirring is going to find us what we need. Like, this deck's not going to do anything to me. Ancient Stirrings is busted. Okay, so like there's Scrap Trawler. So let's see if we can actually do this right this time for for God's sakes. So to play around path, I need to get as many things in play as possible. So let's play this. Let's play this. Sack this. Get back Pyrite Spell Bomb. Sack this. Play Pyrite Spell Bomb. Still have three mana up. Then play my Dark Steel Citadel. Sack Dark Steel Citadel. Get Scrap Trawler and play. And now, as long as we can not 
terribly screw this up. Get back our ironworks. Always yield. Sack this. I should have sacked all over. So this gets back Mirror Retriever. So we're still okay here. Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler. Play this. Play this for zero. Sack this. Sack this to itself. Get me a retriever back. Okay. Okay. Got a loop for infinite cards in mana here. I'd appreciate it if you scoop, but you don't have to. I'll show the loop. Now, I've got one mana. Okay, so now we sack Scrap Trawler. Actually, we have just had the Pyrite Spell Bomb. So Scrap Trawler. Oh, we don't have a way to make red mana yet. Oh, I messed it up. This is why this deck is just so freaking hard to play. So let me get this. So now I've muffed it all up. Now I gotta rebuild. I just always, as soon as I get, this is my problem with this deck. As soon as I at all I get flustered, then I start like blowing it here. Yeah, but I, I've got to do it right, which is gonna make it a little more difficult because I just muffed it up. So now, like, so now I need another way to get it back to start back over, which is just like, ugh. This is why this deck is hard. Or it's like hard. Like I, I struggle to play this deck. I think it's very good. I just need to practice with it. This gets back Terrarian. I just told my opponent that I muffed it up. Like all I need is another scrap trawler or an ironworks, basically, to do it from here. And I guess this maybe is an argument to why you make them do it. At least my opponent's cool. They were like, yeah, I was away from the computer. So now we got to do this again. Get this back. This gets back Mox Opal. Play this. I guess I shouldn't have even played it. I should have just sacked the other one. Uh, Terrarian. And you always sack the first one. Oh, the lower costing one all the time. So get this. Box Opal. Oh man, we are starting to build a house out of all of these bricks. Okay, so there's Scrap Trawler. Okay, so let's do this right. Okay, so I've got 11 cards and 8 mana. Sacrifice this. This gets back Mirror Retriever. This gets back is the Pyrite Spellbomb in my hand. Yeah, it is, so this doesn't matter. So this gets back Terrarian. Play this. 
make mana sack this shoot you this gets back mox opal play this This gets back Pyrite Spell Bomb. Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler. Shoot you. I'll make mana. Then sack that. Get back my Mox Opal. So like, there's two different, I guess you can like halfway finish this loop. And like, but if you get back to where the Mirror Retriever is in play, and the Pyrite Spell Bomb, then I'll have one more mana when, when I start. So yeah. So that gets me back the Retriever with one more mana. I got you off doing the cycle twice. Okay. Whew. All right. So this deck's going to have Rest in Peace and Stony Silence. They might have some Hate Peace creature, though. So we want to get rid of one of these. We don't probably don't have to go very fast against this deck, so I can cut a lot of these Mind Stones. Cut probably once Engineered Explosives. They could have like an Eidolon of Rhetoric, so I could probably want some of these Gal Blasts. I can probably just shave on the Spheres and just keep the Gal Blast. Hitting like a Noble Hierarch might be good as well. <clears throat> yeah, so I want to play this deck. I've got like three months, I think. Like I, I want to figure out what deck I want to play for the SCG in Baltimore. Modern one in November. That's my next like big event. Yeah, we're going to keep this hand. This hand's pretty solid. Oh, it doesn't have a way to kill a uh, whatever it is, though. So we're going to be looking to sack one of these next turn quickly. This is a hand I actually probably shouldn't have kept because it's just, like, actually completely stone cold to stony silence. Which is right here. Yep. All right, that helps. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have kept this hand just because it didn't have a hate piece. Leonin Arbiter. Yep, that thing's dead. So now we just can't play magic. That was the problem. I, I shouldn't have kept that hand. That hand was completely and utterly rely like relied on artifacts. There was no other way. Yeah, we're good. We're just gonna we're gonna move on. That was my mistake. I shouldn't have kept that hand. Like that hand was very good. That was a very good game one hand, but it didn't have anything for a sideboard. It's like maybe I can keep that hand on the draw on the play because I can cycle a couple of my artifacts beforehand. But yeah, we're just gonna. Go again. I might want to play like a natural state in my sideboard. Maybe it's better than this back to nature. Just having a fourth way to kill to kill these artifacts. Oh no, fourth like a fifth one mana way to kill the artifacts. Who would like to play first? Yes. So we have a nature's claim, but I don't have green mana. I have ways to deal with creatures, but I don't have ways to cast. I think I'm a mulligan. Yeah, this hand's much better. My opponent mulligan too. What a nice guy. Put this in the bottom. But then we're going to play a ley line. Ley line of the sanctity is sometimes something I see people. Sometimes I see people board that card in against this deck, and it's it's not very good. It's one of the it's just like 
Because once you start going off, you can just EE for four. Man, we don't have a way to kill that guy. Wow. All right, let's always yield. Get rid of that, play this, and pass. And we can still like hit an artifact or a enchantment here. Get rid of that. Oh, it's going a little tough now. This deck's tough to play. And it gets me all worked up from time to time. But besides that, I'm doing pretty well. How are you, Imbument? I should be streaming more in the next couple months. Like I'm not I'm not going to be going to be going to too many events. I don't really know if I want to do the PTQ system anymore. Like that's just so that's so draining. I do want to cycle these. Especially now that I don't have um it was good. Nice to finally meet you this weekend. Nice, yeah. It was good. It was good to meet you. It's good to meet everybody this weekend. I mean, I did it was the nice part of people coming up and saying hi. Like, I did really appreciate that. Jeez, he's got another one. I'm down two nature's claims, so I've got not too many more ways to deal with that, but should have just made blue to make him think about it. We drew the scrap trawler. Should have made red also, especially if they're going to do something here. So I can still make mana with this terrarian, but we're not going to do that right now. We can do the scrap trawler beats. I can play Terrarian. I can Gal Blast this thing and and play Mirror Retriever next turn. I'm playing Syracuse. Week. Nope, not this weekend. Nope. I am home hanging out with the wife and the dog this weekend, which is good. I've been playing a lot of Magic lately, so it's nice to just chill out. Might even go to an FNM. I haven't done that in a while. Flick a wisp. Flick voice is not good. So I think I actually just make red green trade the board play mirror retriever. So I'm just gonna get like beat up here. I don't need to draw a card which sucks. Use the mana before it... Oh, shoot. It makes me pay more for that. It makes me pay two. All right. Well, we're still going to look to just trade the board here. I don't really want to race... I mean, if my opponent wants to race this, they can do that. They probably should, actually. I think we're going to lose the green-white. No good deck. I just had to hope they brick for the rest of the game. We could have engineer explosives or another back to nature. But with the canopies, they're not going to break, though. They hit a vial, the double vial. Whoa. That's the sign what they're going to play this weekend. I think that, uh, like, humans. Oh, shoot. I clicked on the wrong thing. I think humans. Humans is good. Blue white is good. Uh, Tron and Iron, where all the ancient stirring decks are good. Like, if I was going to Syracuse to win, I would play blue white. Humans are an ancient starting deck. I think that's exactly what I would play. I think if you're looking to win, that's the way to do it. We're just like so dead here. We could find back to nature or our whatever third nature's claim. Noble Hierarch, yep. Hopefully it's nothing but Noble Hierarchs. Play Blue Moon because I'm a Jarrett. I play Blue Moon. Looks like I play Humans. Yeah, Humans is good. I would not play it with the Bugler. 
I don't think the bugler is is where we want to be. Flicker wisp. What is this? This is gonna hit to forest. Okay. I was only playing Columbus. He's my teammate. So uh, okay. So that makes sense. Let's look here. Looking for an engineered explosives. So I can. I'm actually going to attack with this mirror retriever. Make colored mana. Oh, I shouldn't have done that because of how the mirror retriever works. They're just going to eat this now. Oh, it's a scavenging user. So it's just going to eat this. Oh, I shouldn't have attacked it. That was just stupid. I was like, I'm going to blow my own mirror retriever up next turn, anyways. But I guess I have to blow his snapcaster mage up. Though I do not have any more um, mirror retrievers because I boarded one of them out, right? Make red, green, yes. So now I'm out of mirror retrievers. That was just like stupid all the way around there. That was very poor. I wonder if I would have got back my mirror retrievers. That's what I was thinking. It's like, do I get back the mirror retriever? But now we're basically like completely broken here. Like we don't have anything going on. My opponent doesn't have anything going on, but we're taking like, it's a pretty substantial clock. Nah, it doesn't. So, yeah, I wonder what, how it would have worked with the Mirror Retriever. Is if, like, it, with the mirror, when the spell resolved and the Rest in Peace died, the Rest in Peace is exiled. So I would think that the Mirror Retriever would be exiled as well. I'm not exactly sure. I've set... Harlan... Okay, let's... How did you see? I've set five over 15 leagues. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's just a very good deck. Like, humans is just really good. So let's go like this so we don't take any more damage. Okay. That's probably going to target our, our nature's claim, to be honest. Let's just get another land. Let's try to target our whatever it is, our um our Dark Steel Citadel. I don't really want to attack, because if I attack then it opens me up to being blown out like in combat yeah I think I'm just gonna wait because it's gonna put me to two I go back up to five I might need it to block and double tech edge me which is gonna suck that actually probably just kills me Okay, no. <clears throat> oh, that was so stupid playing that land. I'm playing all sorts of loose tonight, which is not great. <clears throat> As a Leon and Arbiter. Drew Canopy. I think I said that I was going to win. <laughs> I was going to beat this deck. When I was playing earlier, when I first saw it, I think I am going to block this because it will get me back a chromatic star that I can recycle. Let's make green. Find an ironworks. Uh, I probably just have to nature's claim this thing. Draw another card. Draw land. We go to 10, play land, they attack us. We're going to assume that they just don't have anything. Yeah, I think we're going to hit this and hope to go, like, runner-runner with lands. Ah, oh, that's such a bad land. All right, we got to pass. So hopefully we hit a land. If This is a relevant threat. Okay. So that's five, so I'm looking to trade this off anyways. Like, I need to play Scrap Trawler. to just trade now to still leave me dead on board. He might not even attack with this Leon and Arbiter. <clears throat> you 
I mean, playing that second land was probably that fourth land was probably greedy. There's so much to think about that it's just tough. That does it. All right, let's get on to the last match here tonight. <clears throat> All right, last match of the night. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, I just found an advertising Blue Moon for Storm of Paul. Well, Blue Moon can get under him, right? I saw you tweet about it. Did I just play against this guy? No. This hand is not good, so I am going to mulligan. I'm going to keep this, scry, chromatic sphere. I don't think I want that. We don't want that one. We want just scrap trawlers or more lands or ironworks. Oh, we're playing against burn. No playing space is sleeping. Jack, what is this? Mardu? Probably Mardu. This is Mardu. This is going to be a pretty solid matchup. I think Mardu is just a dog to like the ancient stirrings decks. Yeah, it involves drawing multiple snaps, having counters at the right time. It's not great, but if you play that, you win it. Nice. Yeah, so we are playing against Mardu. Good, good. Blue Moon is Blue Moon is like a sweet deck. Like it, what sucks is that like Remand is just not what it used to be. If it plays a young pyromancer, I'm just gonna spell bomb it probably. Just on the spot. No, we did that. So now we're gonna go play Inventor's Fair. Inventor's Fair is gonna gain us a life because we're gonna play the spell bomb. He's only got discount for one on Bedlam Rebler. Roman is the MVP. Yeah, but like, there's so much of the format where Roman's just not good. Like, Roman's not good against this deck, humans. It's good against Tron. But like, Roman, Roman used to be so good back in the day. So the nice thing here is we can just wipe their board here. Like, Roman was, oh man, Roman was good. Yeah, if, they, if they have K Command, they should shoot this Mind Stone. Play on the Veil, okay. Good card. I liked Liliana the Veil when I played Mardu. Before we get out, this deck's about it. Yeah. I ditch a land too, so we gain a life. This is what this deck, like, this is why this deck doesn't isn't great in my opinion because we just get so much time to do whatever we want. So let's sacrifice we don't even like Hollow One is someone's just like the deck they Yeah exactly I kind of just want to play this, Engineer Explosives, keep myself Hellbent, and then crack this at the end of their turn, and then untap and go get Scrap Trawler and win the game. Or maybe I might not even worry about this and just have like, just have all of my stuff in play after I go tutor for Scrap Trawler. Yeah, that sounds better to me. They we like they can K command my ironworks, which kind of sucks, but we're gonna be able to like set something up here. Set something up where we can go enter turn and vendors fair again and, and get this. Young Primates. Okay, game over. Because, like, even if they brick here, they have two veils. That's gas. Yeah, we're just going to get a life. I want to leave this up. So I'm not even going to worry about it. So let's sack this.
go get scrap trawler. Sacrifice this. I'm going to just make mana here. We lose out on a card, but it just keeps stuff in play. This gets back engineered explosives. Always yield. Always another buried ruin. Buried ruin can always get back the mind stone to drop to keep our chain going. And we can get back like pyrite spell if we need to. So let's just play this so that we have enough mana. Because we don't want that to be the issue here. Engineered explosives. Okay, so we did kind of break. So let's go get back this mine. Because mine sounds going to draw us two cards. Because one of them is going to be the Terrarian. Get back Terrarian. We got to hit like something good here. All right, another scrap trawler is real nice. So let's go like that. Get the scrap trawler in play. Yeah, we're, I think we're in a pretty good spot right here. Because we have the second trawler. Which the second trawler is going to get us back a mind stone if we need to. Hit another KCI. Which. I don't know. Hang on. So let's get this. Can't play the KCI, unfortunately. We actually we we can because that gets us back Mindstone and Terrarian. We sack Terrarian because we go up to four mana. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna get Mindstone. Mindstone plus Terrarian. And then we just start on the bottom one. Yeah, we're in pretty like we're in pretty good spot now. Like the odds of winning this game are pretty high. Because worst comes to worst, we can just stack a scrap trawler and we're in good shape. Yeah, stack KCI play a second. You right. So now this just generates this mana. Back this, which gets back this. Always yield. Okay. And then this draws us a card and gets us back two ones. All right, so now we're going to be able to do it again. Yeah, this game's like super over. It's just going to be about how long it takes us to finish the game. Because we're going to be able to draw our whole deck regardless here. I'm actually going to make a green with this one so that I can Ancient Stirrings. Yeah, I'm like 100% now. It's just going to be about like how long it takes me to do it slash if my opponent's cool. All right, we're just going to get a Mind Stone to keep us going. Because my opponent's cool, then they'll just scoop to our eventual... Um, whatever it is, um, the Mirror Retriever loop, but they might not. At this point, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna recycle this Engineer Explosives because we don't have to. Yeah, the Wellspring is good. And again, we just don't, we're, like, mana is not the issue, so we're just trying to, like, save clicks at this point. If I was doing this in paper, okay. So that's the loop here. Eventually I'll find an opal and loop pyrite. I'd appreciate it if you scoop, but don't have to. 
So let's sacrifice Sacrifice Mirror Retriever, get back Chromatic Star, get back Terrarian, get back So all we need now is a way to generate red mana. So we need a mox. And then we can do the actual loop. Here, like I have the loop, I'm just like waiting because I want to um, find a mox. Like I think we can probably do it the hard way, but I don't want to take the time to figure it out or the clicks. Because like we just sack a scrap child to get the mirror retriever back, then sack mirror retriever to get the scrap child back while looping the pyrite spell bomb. We just need a second way to draw cards. Or we need a way to make red mana, and then we're good. Get back Chromatic Star. Get back Terrarian. Before you deck still. Yeah, that's just going to take longer than doing it this way. Because, like, as soon as I can get, like, it just less clicks as soon as I find it. But obviously there's, like, a, you know, there's a time or whatever. And, if, and you run out of mana doing it that way. I guess, actually, I, I'm not going to. So maybe I should think about this then actually do it right. Yeah, I probably, I probably should try to do that. So let's just go. Let's just do this right. I'll wait if that's okay. I mean, my opponent's like, I'll wait. And like, it sucks because it's a win in paper, but like. So this gets back this. This gets back this. We then sack this. Get back Pyrite Spell Bomb. Get back Mirror Retriever. Like this is just such the obnoxious way to do this. So now we go like this. I'm not gonna say that to him now, but it is effectively because like what sucks is that like this is a win in paper, you know. Yeah, I guess I can I can I should have been doing this the whole time here. Oh, so this is why this sucks, because I need to find a way to loop a one I need to make sure I can bring back a one drop every time to make red mana. So chromatic star. Alright, there's the mox opal. So now we're in good shape. This gets back Mox Opal. Yeah, that, no, that's what I've done. Like, because like in a in paper, this is a win, which is what matters. And now that we've found it, we're gonna win pretty quickly. But you know, we just have to find it. It's just like, you know, like in some ways, I my opponents. Kind of oh don't do that one. It kind of sucks to be my opponent because like this is where you're at in life, where this is what you've got to be. But like I'm the one playing Ironworks, I guess. So maybe like maybe I deserve it. But it's like my opponent's losing some valuable one of less pyrite spell bomb, me retriever it's back scratch all. My opponent's playing losing like some valuable. I guess my opponent's not losing anything valuable but I know and like there's literally nothing that makes me more happy than when I do this my opponents do this to me and I don't time out and this is like such a good matchup that my opponent's still probably going to lose the next game
These are the two decks that I lost to when I was playing Mardu this weekend. I just lost the two Ironworks decks because the Ironworks deck is just very good. And you don't, don't put enough of a clock on them. Oh, this gets back. Mox Opal. So I actually don't have to loop anything now. Like, I can just go, like... No, what I do. So this gets back. Sack this. And then this gets back, like, Acre Wellspring. Make red mana. Hit this. Sack. Shoot them. This gets back Mox Opal. Yeah, and it's just this is just like this is just the reality of it. I don't even know why I did that. I'm just used to it. This gets back engineer explosives. Okay, got it. Whew! What is it, Craig? I've tried to defend being a dick by saying, yeah, I know. Because it's just like in real life, they're dead. This is like I put one of those online. Yeah, it's annoying. It's, like once, it's, it's not because it's just the worst version of the deck. Of this deck, I think. It's like the worst, just not... The worst version of it. So mirror tree is actually good for grinding. I don't need to be that fast. So I'm gonna cut this. I'm gonna cut a spell bomb. I'm gonna cut a mox, and then a couple mind stones. We don't have to be fast. That's all right. We're just gonna win this last game, and then not worry about it. I cut, you cut a KCI versus the slow decks. I don't know. I don't know enough about the deck to like sideboard super confidently. Besides, like know what cards I want in. You know. <laughs> like I don't know a lot about like what you can shave on. Like shaving on ironwork seems seems rough because like your deck just hums so much better without it. Okay, so we've got an answer to a ley line. Just hope they don't thought sees me as well. Don't thought sees me. Do you have a ley line plus thought sees you savage? All right, so that's gonna take my back to nature. Most likely. What sucks is that we don't have blue mana for our side to, to activate our side. Like we can one shot blue mana with this Terrarian, but it sucks to use a card to to do that. Dude, back. We just need back to nature. Like you just need like more ways to kill this. This crap. We're going to run the Wellspring out next turn, which is pretty great. I hope they just don't have another. Okay. I was like, I hope those greedy bastards didn't have it. Yeah, I take my sigh. This is what, so like, I was playing against Ironworks and they mulliganed. The Ironworks deck mulliganed, and I went Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize, Liliana, and still got destroyed. I didn't have this ley line, though. Like, this ley line is such a problem. Is this jank? This is a real deck. This is the, uh, this is the 
Kirk Clan Iron, the Crack Clan Ironworks deck. This is probably the best deck in modern. Like statistically. I had a play earlier where I Inventors Fared for a uh, Mox Opal. Gas. Alright. We're going to kill this thing, then we're going to win next turn. Modern is one format, I'm not familiar with. Yeah. So we're going to blow this ley line up and then kill my opponent. Well, now they can, like, do some stuff. The problem is my opponent's going to make me play this out. All right, that's nice. So we can't really play around Surgical, but we're not going to play around Surgical when my opponent has Leyline. I've just decided that I'm not I'm not about that life. Alright, Mox Opal doesn't really do anything. Hey scrap trawler. Come on, scrap trawler. All right, we bricked. I want to play this opal though. Sad. That's all right. We can go get a scrap trawler with this inventor's fair, and then we can have scrap trawler plus buried ruin to probably win us the game. After that, where are you, scrap trawler? There you are. Um, sack this. Pay two. Sack this. Get this in here. Scrap trawler gets back to Rarian. We draw another card off of this. Got ten minutes. And then we can get the we can if we have to sack the strap trial, we can get mirror retriever back, so we're in pretty good shape. Ooh, I'm out of mana. Alright, we're just gonna do this. I don't wanna I wanna keep this buried ruin up. So that I can get I don't know, something back here. Then we get back the EE or the Mox Opal to just keep getting life going here. What do we got? You gonna K command me? Their boss. This gets back mirror retriever. What you did does nothing. This does something. Get this scrap trawler back. I do have to play this. We're gonna get back the. No, we're not gonna get anything back because we need. I don't know if I play the land this turn or not. So sack this Terrarian. Get back. So you should play Retriever before doing buried. Okay, so they're slow rolling a surgical. Yeah, that would make sense, Harry. It's Harrison, right? I did play Inventor's Fair this turn. Yep. Yeah. 
So we're going to sack this and get our Icar Wellspring back. If he goes and kills this thing. Gosh, it's like none of this matters, which is like why this deck is obnoxious. All right, there's a loop with a second mirror retriever, but I just don't know it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you generate two mirror. Yeah, it generates infinite mana. But it's like we just fought through like two removal spells and just didn't matter. It's the same as a second scrap trawler, so you loop infinite cards with it as well. Is that what you're saying? Let's get this terrarium back. Sack this. Now we just have to like wait. We need to find a spell bomb or psi, which is gonna happen at some point. I probably should play this mirror retriever a while ago so that I could get back the second scrap trawler. Do I have a second scrap trawler in my graveyard? No. This gets back mine stone though. I should have gotten that was the wrong one. It plays out the same way. But I don't have any ways to draw cards with that loop, right? I just don't know that one. That's one that I don't know. Now that I've looked up. Yeah. I just don't know that one off the top of my head. I don't have the time to learn. So what I basically want to do is just dig for like a side. Get back the retriever with the retriever. And is that with... Oh, I'm going to go can cancel. Cancel. Is that with... Cards or mana as well? Alright. Is it just there? Okay, I need to learn. That's the one I don't know. But we're going to make infinite side tokens here. My opponent's going to die. Yeah, we hit an Edgar Wellspring. So we're just going to make a bunch of tokens and then kill my opponent when we get to untap if they ee -E me then I'm gonna cry but like whatever it's both you should find the spell bomb first though some strong cards okay yeah that's what I was wondering is it's like is it better than fishing like I need to find the bomb Okay, there's another side just in case we get worried about it. So now I'm actually going to sack some Thopters and draw. No, I'm not going to do that because I have this Ironworks. I have this Wellspring here. Okay, so there's the bomb. Yeah, I just don't think I have the time to do it. I think it's actually just going to be easier for me to kill my opponent this way. I do. I should look that one up, though. 
mean, obviously I'm going to at some point. I hate how this gives me priority back. I mean, it's probably like the right thing to do. Hey, am I being too loud? Okay, I'm almost done. So I have to keep, I'm getting animated. Okay, so now we go. Takes 25 seconds to cycle. That, that's a long time. Like now I'm just going to make enough to just kill my opponent though. Especially now that I can get... I just play Opal Sack, Spell one Draw, get back Opal. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. It's just like hard to get, you know? I'm basically just going to make enough Thopters to kill him next turn. Actually, I can just go like this to make this a little easier. I probably can actually just figure it out and do like each one of them halfway. Spell bomb. Now I just can just make a bunch of mana and just not really worry about it. Could have. So now I just play like engineer explosives for zero. Play another EE for zero. And I think I'm out of things to do. Yeah. Okay. So now we're just going to pass. Attack my opponent for 42 next turn. Then just win. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, like. I have another side. If he has engineer explosives for zero, then I'll probably just scoop. But I doubt that he would even bring... He shouldn't bring E in this matchup. Yeah, let me just ditch. Keep one nature's claim in case for some sick reason he's got an ensnaring bridge. Hmm. <laughs> So the quickest way to sack which is set neutral mana button. I don't know how to do that. So the quickest way to sack sack which is set neutral. Time wise that is. Alright, let me just like kill my opponent, then I'll figure that out. So I'm coming across for 17 20 damage. So like they can go block this, block one of these, take 16, they still die. They take one to fetch anyways. So now we just turn them sideways. They have to go like fetch stomping ground fog. So you get two retrievers in KCI. You can sack a retriever to get back the other and play it. I just want to be like, I hope the wait was worth it. I thought it just GG'd me. Yeah. All right. So let me go back to this. So let me say, how do I, how does that happen? Let me just get this here. Modern KCI. Let me stop my recording. <laughs> 